In this tutorial, we'll be using the ideal gas law to solve for density, and uh, and we'll we should see a relationship with uh, molar mass of a gas. Okay, so first we're going to start by uh, setting up a little formula for molar mass. So molar mass equals uh, your mass divided by moles. So we'll put g over n. Okay, and if I uh, if I rearrange this to solve for moles, then I get this. So I get moles equal, uh, let's see, moles equal grams divided by molar mass. Okay, and then I take my uh, our ideal gas law, so that's the first thing. Okay, take the ideal gas law, PV equals NRT. And then uh, what we're going to do is substitute... Um, we're going to substitute this in for n, so we're going to put this here for n. Okay, and then we get this. PV equals grams over molar mass times RT. Okay, and then uh, the next thing we can do is solve for, mol if we solve for molar mass here, then we get the following. So times both sides by molar mass, and then we get molar mass times PV equals grams times RT. Okay, and then divide both sides by PV. So then you get molar mass equals grams times RT over pressure times volume. Now, if you notice, the... Uh, Grams over volume is actually density. Density is mass over volume. So G over V is density. Uh, one thing to note, though, is usually, uh, so let me, let's rewrite this. We'll clean it up a little. And then we get G over V times RT over, uh, over P. And clean, cleaning it up further, we could call this D times RT over P. And uh, we'll make a special note here that density, it's because of the units of R, your density is going to be uh, grams per liter. So take note of that uh, because a lot of times density is given in grams per milliliter. So that's one thing you want to make note of. Okay, and um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna highlight this because this is really useful, and uh, it lets you solve things like um, it lets you analyze things like if you have um, if you have the following gases, okay, which one's gonna have the most density? So actually, let, let me, let's just make a, a note here. So as um, the molar mass increases you should notice that there's also an increase in density of the gas okay because this is on this side of the equal sign and then density is in the numerator and it's on the opposite side of the equal sign so there's a direct relationship between molar mass and density a direct relationship okay um if you also, if you rearrange it, another way to present this equation, rearrange to solve for density, then you'll get the following. So you'll get density equals, uh, let's see, just multiply both sides by P over RT to get rid of this term on this side. Say, so then you'll get the following. You'll get molar mass times, uh, yeah, so P over RT. So you'll get molar mass times P over RT. Okay, so uh, that's another way to present this equation. Okay, so um, I have a couple problems for you guys to try. So um, at... Uh, before we, we start this problem, remember STP is when the temperature is 0 degrees Celsius and pressure is 1 atm. Okay, in this problem it's not at STP, so they specify the temperature and pressure. Okay, so I'll see what you guys come up with on that.
the end of our tutorial.